Well, welcome to the second installment. Let me uh, turn on just a little bit more light in here. It's too hot outside. Let in a little natural light. So, there it is. Pulled the wheels off, painted the back half of the frame, added support bars so the front end wouldn't flex anymore. It's in neutral right now. I should probably lock that in a second. Pull the cables up. I've attached the plug to the side of the mower so it wasn't just flopping around anymore. These are the batteries I'm wanting to use. They go to an electric scooter until I drip some solder on it, who cares. I'm going to drop them in here in a second, but these are two 12 volt 12 amps instead of the 12 volt 32 amp batteries, or they're either 32 or 36 amp. But they were huge and they weighed a ton. Oh man, I've already got a bunch of grass down in there. Let me dump that out real quick. But this is gonna power the beast. All right, I'm gonna use the stock battery strap to put it in. Let's see how they fit. Oh. oh, they pop right down in the stock tray down there. They don't slide around at all. Then we start taking our battery cables. And instead of putting them across the batteries, we're just going to do them individually like the originals were. Now we're ready for the brain. Well, I've been working on this, actually condensing it down into a smaller unit. I actually cut down a 9.6 volt battery tray into a 6 volt. Got the antenna, servos. It's even got a rubber boot to keep grass out of the joystick mechanism. Piece of aluminum there. Now this should just drop right in. Okay. Fits right in, kind of. And then you take and strap the battery in. There. Nice and secure. Got my speed potentiometer. I'm gonna turn it pretty much all the way up. Then you take your big obnoxious cable and you want to run it down the front. Line it up, plug it in. This should be ready. So if I push this. Got a nice audible beep. Okay. Turn the remote on. Then turn the servos on. Oop, I heard the relay click. Okay. <laughs> this is gonna be awesome. Let's see. Forward. Oh, I hear the motor's engaging. It's still in neutral. 
All right. Now I'm going to throw it in gear. Give it a bump. So first, make sure it's all the way in gear. Let's try right. It wasn't all the way in gear yet. You heard that pop. It is now. All right. That noise you're hearing is the little guard on the back folded under. I have to pick it up and fold it back. But and turn. First, forward, and auto stops. Turns itself off. Now, turn the radio and receiver off. <laughs> I believe it's time to play with it. Alright, I'll be testing it in the next video. Let me know what you think of it so far. Thanks for watching. See you next time.